Hey everybody, I hope all is well. So if you will, let's take a look at this new clip. I found this very interesting, okay? And I think we need to have the conversation. This will be part A, the news clip. Uh, then please tune into part B, the commentary, where you can feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and also uh, put in your comments, okay? So this is part A, the news clip only, then part B will be commentary. Check it out, fair use. Well, as kids continue to squeegee at corners across Baltimore, the question remains about the reason why. Fox 45 is investigating the link between squeegeeing and the lack of a quality education. Our Mackenzie Frost has that part of our coverage right now from West Baltimore. Mackenzie, you spoke with some squeegee kids today. You found some interesting things out, didn't you? Yeah, Guy, that's right. We're here at the corner of Mount Royal and North Avenue, and we spoke with a squeegee kid earlier today who didn't want to give his full name, but he did say that he's been out here for a few years doing this work. He mm -hmm. says that he dropped out of high school, and he knows that what he's doing is illegal, but he tells me that had he not dropped out of school, he probably wouldn't be on the corner weaving in and out of traffic looking to make some money. At the corner of Mount Royal and North Avenue, a group of squeegee kids out hustling for some cash just days after a driver wielding a baseball bat was shot and killed by a squeegee kid in the Inner Harbor. If you would have stayed in this car and never got out, none of that would have happened. This squeegee Ooh. kid, only going by Jay, knows the ins and outs of the business, dodging traffic, all to make some money. Not wanting to show his face, but speaking about what he says is a broken system for the whole city. Oh, them city schools, that's bullshit. It's phony. It's phony. What do you mean it's phony? They're not teaching, them. They're not teaching us. I Are dropped you? out at ninth grade because I felt like I wasn't lying enough. To, like, they're not teaching us. Jay standing just blocks from city school's headquarters. And he's an example of some of the problems facing the school system. For the first three quarters of the 2020-2021 school year, 41% of high school students earning a 1.0 GPA or lower. That means nearly half of the 20,000 high school students earned less than a D average. <sighs> Enrollment dropping. From 2016 to 2021, city schools losing about 6,000 students. One of them, Jay, who's now standing here. We're learning the same over and over and over. It's like nothing new. Do you think if you would have had a quality education, would you be out here squeegeeing? No. I still be in school. I swear I still be in school learning that thing. They would really teach me stuff. Yeah, I'll be in school learning. City schools data shows even if kids stay wow. in school though, they are graduating at lower rates. In twenty twenty one, city schools graduation rate dropped to sixty nine percent. Three years ago, it was seventy two percent. Statewide average is 87%. There's a disconnect between North Ave and the classroom. Pastor Shannon Wright, community activist mm. and former GOP candidate for mayor, says the some $15,000 city schools gets per student each year isn't being invested in Baltimore's youngest. If a city the size of Baltimore was effectively spending the resources that they have for public education, we would not see children out on the streets being squeegee boys, girls, or anything else. We would see children in class. And without a functioning education, system former fbi agent tyrone power says baltimore's kids could find themselves in a different system the criminal justice system is probably going to be somehow linked to finding those students either before they commit a crime or immediately afterwards some of the students who are not being educated now will be some of the students who will be attending funerals for later on as city schools grapples with the latest state inspector general of education report finding more than 12,000 failing grades were changed to passing from 2016 to 2020 our question about how many students graduated high school because their grades were changed remains unanswered by the school system. Meanwhile, Baltimore police continue to stand by, watching squeegee kids like Jay break the law. It's not all squeegee kids that do bad things, you feel me? You but got the, but squeegeeing itself is illegal. Yeah, it is, it is. But like the police told us, it's not, they're not on stop it because all of us not out here doing bad things. Back out here live at the corner of Mount Royal and North Avenue, so you can see one squeegee kid is out here in between the traffic making his money. While we were out here earlier this afternoon, we also spoke with a member of the mayor's office who was here talking to these kids, talking about uh, employment opportunities. He said last week during a job fair, 19 squeegee kids were offered a job. But the problem that I've heard from several squeegee kids say the money they make here working these corners right now doing this squeegee work is simply just easy money. Okay, wow, a lot to impact here, so stay tuned.
for part B, the commentary. Thanks for watching.